by the Dynasty Force Fade Strip Clubs. What? What? What the fuck? What? 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 Cleric show. So what you guys just saw is somebody reacting to the trick I'm about to teach you. Here's how it works. You give somebody the deck of cards and you ask them to shuffle. That's step number one. So your spectator is shuffling the cards like so. You instruct them to stop whenever they want. When they stop, you take back the deck and you're going to look at the bottom card of the deck. But you don't do this like this. You gotta be cool about it. You gotta be slick about it. So here's what you do. You can either turn the deck face up and say, look, this is the order you've put the cards in, right? And now you've noted the bottom card. The way I do it is when I take back the deck, I tilt the deck just enough. Right now I can actually see the bottom index of that six of spades. So the only thing you need to know is one card. You're then going to spread the cards on the table, keeping an eye on that bottom card. Some people actually keep their thumbs on it as they're mixing. I think just keeping an eye on it is fine, as effective as well, just like this. You know, in magic, it's very important when you reiterate what just happened. Okay, so you shuffled this deck, the cards are in complete random order, is that right? You get them to agree with you. The more you get them shaking their head forward, the more amazing the trick is going to be. So then here's what you do. You ask your spectator to point to any card. Let's say they point to this one. Whatever card they point to, you are going to announce that it is the six of spades. You say, oh, that one. Well, that's the six of spades. It's not always going to be the six of spades. It's going to be your bottom card. Capiche? Capiche. You say, oh, that's the six of spades. You take it, and you take a look at it, and you say, yeah, I was right. Point to another one. Now, this is the Ten of Diamonds. Now, the next card they point to, I'm going to say Ten of Diamonds. They point to a card. You say, oh, that's the Ten of Diamonds. So, so far, you've named the Six of Spades and the Ten of Diamonds. The other card is the Jack of Diamonds. So, you don't say this out loud. I've called up to now the Six of Spades and the Ten of Diamonds. You pick the last card. So you say, okay, you've picked two cards. I'm going to pick um, this one right here, which is your six of spades. But you're going to miscall it. You're going to say your jack of diamonds. You're going to say this one. This one's the jack of diamonds. So you take the cards. You mix them up a little bit. And you ask them, what are the three cards I named? And when they say six of spades, ten of diamonds, and Jack of Diamonds, when you flip those cards on the table, they are going to flip out. And you can do this rapid fire too, you don't have to get them to pick. You say, this is the Eight of Spades, that's the Queen of Spades, and that's the Four of Clubs. What did I say? I said Eight of Spades, Queen of Spades, Four of Clubs, what, what, your mother? Don't forget the Magic Shoe Climax at the end. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. This is Eric LeClaire reminding you birthdays are a good thing, but too many of them can kill you. <laughs> too, too many birthdays can kill you, because if you have like 500 birthdays, you're old and you're going to die. <laughs> too hey, too hey, many just, just play your music. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you tomorrow. Alright guys, check this out. That's how we do. Okay, one more time.